me. What up, Jasmine? What up? We're live. How you doing? I'm doing good. We have a couple of screamers upstairs, but other than that, pretty good. What have you guys been up to in quarantine? In quarantine, cooking, eating, bicycle, walks, lots of jigsaw Same thing puzzles. as everyone else. Lots of jigsaw puzzles. Amanda's been watching massive episodes of All American. All American. Raging Riverdale. She just started watching Riverdale. You know, what can I do? Raging Riverdale. But she's also doing tie dye. She got a tie dye kit. She's having some fun along the way. Oh, you got a tie dye kit? I tie dyed this shirt myself. <laughs> Did you stick? So, what kind of stuff have you guys been making? You guys have been cooking so much. Honestly, we've been cooking just about everything. I mean, uh, I, you know, great fish deliveries, great meat deliveries. And trying to make it relatively simple as to what we have in house. We're not trying yeah. to, you know, I think it's important to work with what you have. You know, I totally of- agree. We've been doing the same thing. We have a lot of like meat and fish deliveries, but then we're trying not to go out as much as we possibly can and not have to go to the food store. So we've been really using like exactly what we have around the house, which has so far been pretty good. But sometimes it either like gets tricky or to be completely honest, like I'm just starting to get over it. And when I was texting with you the other day, my biggest issue right now is like lunchtime, like dinner, I feel like it's easy to come up with like a healthy meal. I don't know why lunch is my, my hardest one. It's like I, the kids are eating like macaroni and cheese or like pizza and those things. And like, I either eat that with them or like throw a sandwich together or just like snack on something and then don't eat because I don't know. I just like have no quick, easy lunch ideas, like adult easy lunch ideas um okay so this is what you told me to make or what you told me to bring but you didn't really tell me what we were making so i have i have leeks which like normally i don't feel like that's a normal thing that people have laying around their house normally it's an onion but i did go and get some leeks at our last uh food store run so i have that i have shrimp which we've had frozen shrimp now because we got a lot of seafood deliveries so we've been just freezing it and they've been great i have cherry tomatoes I have arugula, yep. I have asparagus, yep. and I have some artichokes, artichoke hearts. Beautiful, same here. And let's see, what else do I have? Olive oil, Art. salt and pepper, and I have uh, some white wine, which I don't know if that's for the cooking or just for drinking. I'm not sure it's what that's for. a little bit of both, Jasmine. We're in quarantine. I mean, come on. I mean, I don't know. I might have to go check. Um, all right, so I get what are I gave you a bunch of ingredients, and I'm working with similar stuff. We don't have the same stuff, which is totally fine. Instead of asparagus, I have green beans. Instead, okay. of, tomatoes, instead of cherry tomatoes, I actually had some sun-dried tomatoes, which are really nice. Okay. We, both have, we both have artichoke hearts. I had a jar of them in the, in the pantry, which worked well. I got garlic. I got shrimp. I got olive oil. One thing I did notice from your prep station is somebody needs a real pepper mill, Jasmine. Okay. I will be sending you. I know. You know, tonight. we had one, and that I actually I don't really like fresh cracked pepper. You don't like what? I don't like like fresh cracked pepper. Like I don't like large chunks of black pepper. I like black pepper, but Me I neither. like it to be really fine. There is this little dial. This little dial on top. You can make it finer grind, especially when you're show. <laughs> sending one. Okay. On Amazon. I'll and put it on my Christmas work, list. When you work with salt, have a dish of kosher salt out. Okay, it can be a little fancy dish, but what dish? Work with a dish. Don't have grinding salt. Kosher salt should always be available for you. Okay. So we have a pot mm-hmm. of boiling, boiling water, right? When we season our water with salt, we season it okay. aggressively with salt. Okay? That water's boiling. Amanda's going to dump those in. You don't really need to do that because you're using asparagus. So you should oh, so I don't need asparagus. to boil the water? No, you don't. You don't. All right. you're, doing, you're doing asparagus, right? Yeah, so what am I doing with my asparagus? Just slice them nicely on the bias. Cut, cut them into like about an inch pieces. Because those are quick. Okay. Those are quick really quickly in with the shrimp. The shrimp beans take a little bit longer. Okay? I mean, I already I already chopped them like this. Is that okay? Let me see. That's perfect. I'm going to finish this whole dish. We have some kale that's on its way out. So if it's on the All way right. out, before it's gone, use it. I'm going to cut this into what we call a chiffonade and marinate it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of salt, and you love that black pepper, so open a black pepper, and I'm going to squeeze some fresh lemon juice in there. 
All right, so let's season our shrimp. Have your shrimp okay. seasoned. I go salt and pepper. You don't love the pepper, you don't have to. Make sure when you season them, you get a nice even coating of salt and pepper. All right. I hear that plastic pepper mill grinding away. I know, do you love it? All right, salt and pepper both sides. Okay. All right, then we're gonna go to the stove. We're cooking with, I'm cooking with right. extra virgin olive oil. And don't be afraid to use a good amount because that's your sauce. E-V-O-O. Right, E-V-O-O, extra virgin olive oil. E-V-O-O. <laughs> All right, Rachel. Exactly, Ray Ray. Come on. Okay. Any funny comments about that, Lori? No. No, everyone's asking about your blouse. Jasmine's blouse. My blouse or Jasmine's oh, blouse? Oh, mine? It's DIY, and Amanda's going to do one next. <laughs> All right, am I putting the shrimp in? No, 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 shrimp or less. You got your, oh. got your leeks going? Where are your leeks? They're here. They're ready to go. I already chopped some. You're behind. All right. Get them in there first. Here, I'll All right. You're not going. You're not doing any <gasps> garlic, right? <gasps> I'm starting a fire. Hold on. That's because they're a little wet. Are they a little wet? Yeah. Okay. What water. am I supposed to do? Dry them off? It's okay. No, no, no. Water and water and hot oil don't go together. So okay, next time, so... next time, just throw them on a paper towel. All right. I'm throwing them on a paper towel right now. I'm scared. Don't be scared. It's only a free I mean, blouse. There was a large flame that just came out of my stove. All right. Yeah, water and hot again. oil. All right, so you see I'm browning. Okay, they're fine now. Browning. I'm going to slow down and wait for your leak. Who's doing, who's doing your camera work? Who's doing my camera work? Um, my really good yeah. friend, Tripod. Tripod? Great. Chris Pauly. Working? Yeah, he's upstairs. Really? Can, can we get Polly down to do the camera work so we can see what's going on? Oh, I can do camera work too, all at the same time. Ready? Look. Here's my leaks. There you go. All right, lightly Tell brown. Me this. I'm very curious. Like when you are, you're, if you're the guy, I mean, everyone does this, right? When you're like standing in front of your fridge, when you're like in front of your pantry, and you're like, what in the world am I going to eat? What is your go to thing? Like mine is always cereal. What do you do? Do you have like that thing or do you always eat like really great, awesome meals that you whip up yeah. for yourself? I'm not going to lie. A, a bowl of cereal with some fresh bananas is, is not bad. I, I like berries. I like berries and bananas in my cereal. Oh, so you're like slicing fresh fruit at like midnight or something when you're making your bowl of cereal? If, Come on. If I eat a bowl of cereal, chances are I'm going to put some fruit in there. I'm not going to lie. This right, makes me feel better. Especially when I'm eating frosted flakes, it makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Okay, tell me this. Throw your artichokes and your tomatoes in. Okay, artichokes are going in. Oh my gosh, I have more flames. Okay, tomatoes are going in. Woo! Yep, I got my sun dried tomatoes going in. Okay. I chop up the chips. Woo! I chop up the chips. Okay, here's what's happening. I'm going to lean you guys down one second. Let me see your pan. You see it? I like By the way, frozen pizza brush. Frozen pizza is not a bad idea late night either. That's why I don't keep it in the freezer or else I would eat it. Well, what's your, what's your go-to, like, drunk night food? Pizza? Put it your pan. You see it? Oh, you look good. Uh, is your asparagus in there yet or no? I told you. No, you didn't tell me asparagus yet. Asparagus uh, down too? You can put, you can put your oh, asparagus. If you okay. were to tell, like, your five classic or, a cl or, like, five staple tools for a kitchen, like, if you're a beginner chef, what do you feel like those are, like, that everyone needs to have in their kitchen? I think you need a good chef's knife and a paring knife, small knife, big yeah. knife. I think you need a pair of tongs. I think you need a spoon, a slotted spoon and a regular spoon. And I think you need, very important for me, is a pepper mill and a bowl of salt. And then another thing I like over here is I always keep bottles for olive oil and vinegar. Bottles because it's, it's pretty? I think it's pretty and it's more accessible. I use it all the time. I'm always hitting vinegars and oils. So I have them ready to go. 
Uh, okay, throw your shrimp in. Okay. Right, the shrimp are seasoned with salt and pepper? Yeah. Okay. So what do I do with the all in. They're all in. Okay, so now tell me, what is your go-to, like, the must-have, like, ingredients that you always have in your house? I love to have uh, fresh garlic. I also like that from roasted garlic confit that we made yesterday over here. Always good to have. And I like to have a big bowl always with like red onions, lemons, limes, tomatoes, avocados, any kind of fresh produce that you can grab at any time. Oh, I like that bowl. Jasmine, yes, I know we're chatting, but we're also cooking. Go. I know. Everything's I'm in there. Away. There's You're shrimp in there. Splash your white wine. All right. Flash of white wine in there. Okay. I'm going to take a sip first. Okay. Then, slice the lemon. Okay, do you see how awesome mine looks right now? It looks very good, I got to tell you. There you go. Get your, where's your asparagus? Know, is your did... asparagus in there? It's in here. It's all in here. You need more veg. You keep asking Jasmine, me about you're the asparagus. All right, now I know we said we're making a healthy lunch, so this is optional, but if you want, you could add just a little bit of butter at the end to bring it all together. Am I plating this? Yeah, you're pretty close. Your, your, shrimp, your shrimp feel cooked? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to plate it. Me too. Now tell me, do you have, like, any favorite, like, garnishes that you always use that make your plates look pretty, like, very, like, chef-like? I mean, I'm just a big fan of lemons and lime and stuff like that. You know, if you're cooking right. with lemon, it's nice to accent the flavor a little bit of lemon. So Amanda's going to find me a lemon if we're not out of them. Right. Okay. You're going to, like, decorate your plate with a lemon. I mean, look at the colors that we have here. I mean, between the asparagus and the, and the green beans and the shrimp and the sauce from the, from the sun-dried tomato and your fresh tomato. My shrimp are pretty good. How are your shrimp? Um, hold on. I didn't taste them yet because they're so hot. But... Look how pretty. Mm. Jasmine, nice job. I know. Did you doubt me? I mean, come on. Not at all. Did you but toss your arugula with a little bit of olive Did you toss yeah, your arugula with a little bit of olive oil? juice? Yep. Good. Always season your greens, right? Olive oil, lemon juice, pinch of salt. Always bring your greens back to life. You know, if you want, you can turn this with some grilled bread, some, some rice, some noodles, or something like that. But we figured at lunchtime, we're going to go a little healthy. Oh, you know what? I liked your idea of doing it with like some toasted bread. I thought that that was really good. Toasted I'm putting bread on some more salt and pepper. Okay, I'm tasting it now. After How are your artichokes? Your artichokes are good? It was so good. And it's exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something really light, but also really satisfying, and that it was not a sandwich. Awesome. That's what we're looking for. And it by the so way, good. with that yeah, without all the chit-chatting, how long do you think this would have taken us to cook? I don't know, maybe 10 minutes? Maybe. I would say even less. Yeah. I mean, the prep's not even uh, that long either. Like, total all in. Nice, quick, easy lunch, dinner, cocktail hour. You know, I know And what I love is that we both sort of had, like, we both sort of had varying ingredients, but essentially could create the same dish, which is really nice because you have most of these ingredients in your house or some different version of them, which I really like. Exactly. Oh, I love this. And it's going to be one of my recipes now that I keep in rotation. And then I can just adjust it depending on my mood or whatever um, produce is in season, whatever I get that day. That's what I love about it. I right, will thank you so much. This is amazing. Um, I hope that everyone that tuned in um, loved it just as much as Danny Cohen did. And again, thank you. I'm going to make this a lot now until I'm OD'd on it. Thanks for assisting, Amanda. Thanks, everybody, for cooking with the cake. Cake bottles, cooking with Jasmine. Everybody stay strong and stay healthy out there. Be safe. All right. Bye. Love you guys. Love you guys.